On this beautiful spring day, I want to take a moment to talk about why I'm running to be the leader of the Yukon Party and the next Premier of the Yukon. The Yukon is my home and yours. I love the land we live in, and I am dedicated to doing my best to ensure that we have a bright future for the Yukon and for all Yukoners. A Yukon Party government under my leadership will be a caring, fiscally responsible government that respects the rights and freedoms of every Yukon citizen. The Yukon has a proud history of independent and resourceful people, beginning with First Nations people who made their living harvesting from the land and the water. As others came to the territory, there were prospectors, placer miners, farmers, hunters, carpenters, pilots, merchants, Mounties, and many more. All of these people have become part of the past and present of our beautiful territory, and all are important as we move forward into its future. That spirit of resourcefulness and determination will be important as the Yukon faces the challenges ahead of us. Many people know me from my time as an MLA, but I'd like to talk a little about who I am and where I come from. My family moved to the Yukon when I was two and to Lake LaBarge when I was six. We lived on the other side of the lake, so we had no road access and had to cross Lake LaBarge to get to town. We lived off grid and I grew up with a wilderness lifestyle including hauling water by hand, cutting firewood, hiking, canoeing, boating, snowmobiling, and dog mushing. I spent a lot of time playing with friends on these hills. My experience includes over 12 years in the private sector as a small business owner and 17 years as MLA for Lake LaBarge, as well as serving as minister for a long list of portfolios. During most of my time as minister, I also served as government house leader. I have been re-elected three times, gaining the support of more people in every election in the last 10 years. I believe my success is due to my strong record of listening to Yukoners and working with colleagues and public servants to deliver results. You'll find a list of about 50 highlights of the work I've done as a minister and MLA on my website, bradcathers.ca, as well as the announcements I've made during this leadership campaign. My vision for the Yukon reflects the priorities and good ideas I've heard from people across the territory. I know the pandemic is top of mind for many of you right now. Many people are feeling the economic consequences as well as other impacts including health concerns and major changes to your normal routine. We are now in a recession. As we emerge from it, the Yukon government will need to work with local businesses and take the right steps to support private sector growth. It is important to do that in a way that is fair and equitable. This is also an opportunity to build a stronger and more diversified local economy. Like many Yukoners, I believe we have the ability to be more self-sufficient and increase our ability to meet our own needs right here in the Yukon. Recent disruptions to supply chains are a wake-up call to Canadians. It is time to increase local production of food, local manufacturing, and local supply of goods we depend on in our lives. My vision for the Yukon includes increasing our ability to be self-sufficient by working with the private sector to develop the Yukon-grown and Yukon-made sectors of our economy. It also includes investing in our healthcare system, respecting that hunting and fishing are an important part of the lifestyle of many Yukoners, standing up for the rights of law-abiding firearms owners, and ensuring that Yukoners have the educational opportunities to prepare them for success. If I am elected as leader of the Yukon Party, we will listen to people who've been affected by this recession and work with you to develop solutions. If I am elected as your Premier, I will re-establish the Premier's annual community tours. Every year, along with members of our team, I will hold public meetings in all Yukon communities. We will also meet with First Nations, municipalities and local advisory councils. And we will work with all orders of government and all communities toward the goal of ensuring that the Yukon of the future is a land of wilderness beauty, opportunity, economic prosperity, healthy people and communities and freedom. I believe it's important for people to know what I stand for and what you can expect if you elect me. But there's more work to do. If I'm elected as leader of the Yukon Party, I'm committed to giving you the chance to contribute your ideas and priorities and to building our election platform with grassroots input from party members across the Yukon. The next territorial election is probably a year and a half away in fall 2021. We will be ready for an earlier call, but we'll use the time to listen to people across the Yukon and we will build a diverse team of candidates. If I win the leadership election, I hope that both Linda and Curry will be part of that team and run in the next territorial election. When I began my leadership campaign, no one expected that 2020 would bring a pandemic and a recession. These are tough times ahead. The Yukon needs a leader who is up to that challenge. This leadership election is your opportunity to choose who you want to lead the Yukon Party and who you want to be the next Premier of the Yukon. As you make your decision, please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or want to talk about issues and priorities that are important to you. Thank you for your time and have a great day.